Hi, thanks for joining me today. It is Friday, March 19th. It is a fact check Friday. I've got a fun fact check for you today. But first, flame on. I do want to thank everyone. You know what to do. Hit the like button, share, comment, all that good stuff. It does make a difference. So thanks for that. And I know the fact check that you all really wanted me to do, right? CGI Biden, uh, green screen Biden. That's actually a really good story, and I've been working on that. However, I still have a little more to do with that. So today, uh, we're. I knew this would happen. I'm out of uh, juice, so flame on. We've got these little, little candles. I need to re-up my torch supply. Today, we're going to do a fact check with USA Today. Find out how great of a source they are for news. Can you trust them to do a fact check? And perhaps in the next couple days, I will have the green screen Biden uh, information for you because I found out something really interesting that I haven't yet seen anywhere else in the media. But that'll be in a few days. But today, let's check out the USA Today. They Fact check journalist who filmed U.S. Capitol incident not employed by CNN. And this fact check was done by Chelsea Cox at USA Today. I always like to check out a journalist's Twitter feed because it lets me know what they're about. But I couldn't find hers. Perhaps she doesn't have one. How odd is that to be a journalist and not have a blue check Twitter account? That's kind of odd. Anyway, this is uh, the claim. CNN employees took part in the Capitol Hill party. Hoo-ha. Incident. Thing. Right? Rumors about the unprecedented events of January 6th are still circulating on social media months after a mob of supporters of then-President Donald Trump attacked the U.S. Capitol building in an effort to stop the confirmation of the 2020 presidential election results. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that framing of it. I don't think that that's necessarily the what happened, but okay, let's go with it. Amid hundreds of arrests and calls for accountability from lawmakers, and despite many participants crediting Trump for their actions, some internet pundits have implicated uh, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and others in the violent breach that left five people dead according to USA Today. Hmm. Now, hold on. I know at least two of the five did it to themselves. I don't think that it's fair to, to put that all on that day's incident, you know? We don't know why they did what they did, and it didn't happen there, you know? You do something a couple days afterwards at your house... I don't know. That doesn't really follow for me. To me, that's a, a bit of a stretch, but let's keep reading. A March 8th Facebook post claims journalists working for the TV network and news outlet CNN took place in the insurrection. Quote, just a reminder that CNN employees took part in the Capitol Hill thing. The meme claims they entered the Capitol building with John Sullivan, filmed it, interviewed him, then blame the whole thing on Donald Trump, and the sheep gobbled it up like it was gospel. The poster didn't reply to a comment from USA Today. Uh, John Sullivan filmed the fatal shooting of uh, Ashley by the U.S. Capitol Police officer after infiltrating the building. USA Today reported Sullivan was later arrested in Utah and charged in federal court for unlawful entry, disorderly conduct, and interfering with the duties of law enforcement, according to a January press release by the Justice Department. Sullivan was accompanied by photographer Jade Sacker, but there's no evidence Sacker was employed by CNN during the events of January 6th. Well, who's Sacker? She's a freelance journalist. CNN is not listed in her credits. Uh, she was working... Oh, so Sullivan was the subject of a documentary project filmed by Sacker. Um, 
Okay, so let's see what they said. Matt Dornick, head of strategic communication at CNN, denied a relationship between Sacker and the company in a response to a request for comment from USA Today. Quote, Jade Sacker was not at the Capitol on our behalf. She does not work for CNN in any capacity and has never been employed by our organization. Okay, so that's what they're saying. They're saying, well, she didn't have a relationship with him. Our rating, false. We rate this claim false based on our research. Um, the freelance journalist infiltrated the Capitol with John Sullivan to capture footage for a documentary project. CNN confirmed the journalist has never been employed nor done work for the cable news outlet. Well, there you go. That's it. That's all the information you need to know. USA Today fact-checked this, and that's what they found. However, that's not the whole story. Let's go to the New York Post, where we see anti-Trump capital partier sold footage for $35,000 to NBC and CNN according to court papers. And this was published over a month ago. So this, this should be known to anybody that's writing a fact check about this story this week. Accused Capitol rioter John Sullivan sold video footage he recorded at the January 6th siege to NBC and CNN for $35,000 each, according to new court papers. Wow! I missed that in the USA Today fact check. Um, the news came as prosecutors on Tuesday tried to ban the Utah provocateur, a self-styled anti-Trump activist who they alleged infiltrates protests to cause chaos and record video footage from accessing social media, according to Politico. Well, that's interesting because the USA Today article, uh, you know, they put up the claim that some internet pundits are implicating these other groups in this violent behavior. But there's no mention of the people. But when we look at the story at the New York Post, they say this guy was an anti-Trump activist and he was paid $35,000 for the footage, according to court papers. All that is missing from the USA Today fact check. Seems like it's a kind of important information. So I'll leave a link to both of these articles in the description. Well, this is all very interesting information, none of which was in the original USA Today fact check. It's like either the USA fact checker is really bad at their job and doesn't know how to investigate things. That's one option. Or they are purposefully keeping this information from their readers. Now, omission, a lie by omission, that's still a lie. This is all very important information. If the claim is that CNN employees were doing this, and it turns out that they were freelance, they weren't technically working for CNN, but CNN paid them $35,000, I think a fair way to do this is, one, at least put that in your article. It should be in the article. You can say, Look, they weren't technically CNN employees, but CNN did pay them 35 grand. That would be fair. What USA Today did is they kept all that information. They kept their readers, and if you're their reader, they kept you in the dark about this important detail that totally changes the story. But I expect nothing less from USA Today. They should not be in the fact-checking business because, I mean, they just don't know how to check facts. So that's what I got for you today. We're still in the first game of March Madness, and I think my bracket's already busted. Let me know what you think about this story. Have an awesome weekend. Peace. Thank you.
Thank you.